Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Slim Shaky. We are back again to the Slim Shaky Show. And I know it's been over a year I've uploaded, but we are up to episode number 10. And, you know, t today's episode is kind of interesting because I decided, fuck it, let me try to, instead of having guests that I know personally in real life, why not try to go outside the box and find someone on Omegle? I know it's a crazy fucking place. But here we are, and I met this really cool fucking person. Her name's Daphne, and yeah. Hi, yeah. Um, don't really know what I'm doing here, but I'm just gonna <laughs> rant about pictures from my secondary school that I hate. If that's alright. Why don't you just give like a quick rundown of who you are, uh, what do you like to do, and shit like that, like something about you. Alright, my, like name's... <laughs> my name's Daphne. I'm from the UK. I'm a goth. I just. <laughs> started college and i have a cute little habit of disliking everyone okay so you mentioned you're a goth right so like how exactly does a person become a goth like is there like a step-by-step -step tutorial type shit like explain, yeah. explain how that happened to be a goth you have to listen to goth music okay so i don't know I, i'm british so growing up i heard like a lot of like British goth music, and I was like, oh shit, this shit's cool. And then, I don't know, <laughs> it's not really very exciting. No, no, it's all good. Be, uh, it's, it's kind it of just like a Satanist okay. or anything. People think I'm a Satanist, I'm not. Um, I just draw shit on my forehead. <laughs> Wait, so like, um, what would you say is something that like, you like to do as like a like pastime, as a hobby? I like to watch anime. Okay, anime. Oh, what would you say is your favorite anime? Um, definitely. Death Note, yo, respect. I fucking love Death Note. Oh, I see you got your Death Note uh, plush toy thing. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone watching at home, you guys are not going to be able to see it, but yeah, it's yeah, pretty cool. This little, little, L, little L plush toy. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Love my life. Alright, All right. well, yeah, so, I mean, just tell me about your life. Tell me about your crazy life. Is there anything exciting going on right now at the moment? Right now, um, tomorrow, I'm going to walk into college and then drop out and then leave college again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that bad? It's so bad. I live in a town where, like, they hate goths and they also hate black people. Oh, damn. And I'm a black goth. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I can't really fucking maneuver around easily. So, um, I'm not sure if you mentioned, um, like, what, what are you majoring in? Uh... In art, oh, okay. Art and design. Is, is that like something you've had a fascination for when when you were a kid? Yeah, I, d I don't know. I didn't really have many friends growing up. I was a bit gloomy. People were like, "Oh, if you if you walk around Daphne, it's probably gonna rain." And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> okay, mate." But yeah, I didn't have many friends growing up, so I just drew. Yeah, well, that was cool. for for someone that's never been to the UK, I mean, I, I'm from the USA, so um, mm -hmm. like. Would you recommend any spots that, like, you would say it's like, oh, you should definitely go here? Depends what kind of person you are. Um, for you, I don't, I don't know you that well, but if I was you, I would probably recommend. Okay, what would you recommend someone that loves food? That's very outgoing. That loves food. Shit. Go to Camden, Camden Market. Okay, and what exactly and should I buy from there? Fucking, there's this fucking. There's this one place that serves Caribbean food there. Okay. And it's really good. You should go there. Any anyone that goes to London or England should go to Camden. It's just sick. Alright, so anyone watching at home, you heard her. Alright, sounds good, sounds good. But yeah, so um so you mentioned earlier that you, you got something crazy you want to get off your chest or you got like a crazy story and the floor is yours. Go for it. So. Alright, so basically in the UK, when you're 10, 11, you start going to secondary school. Okay. It's like, kind of like high school, but you only go until you're 16 and then you go to college. Mm. Um, but when I was in secondary school, I went to a very fucking white secondary school in a very posh area, but it wasn't a posh school. Oh, fun fact, since it seems like you're a fucking superhero movie fan... <laughs> Um, the school I went to is called Uppingham Community College. Down the road was a private school called Uppingham School. Okay. And Hugh Jackman used to be a PE teacher there. Okay, interesting. Oh, 
By the way, guys, to anyone listening to this, the reason why she, she's saying that is because I'm literally doing this interview wearing Deadpool mask. So, <laughs> if anyone's wondering, I know it's fucking crazy. I know it's pretty, pretty much on the spot. Like, I just met this girl, and we're like, "Hey, do you want to do this podcast?" She's like, "Yep." So here we are. I didn't know this guy's name. That's what I'm saying. Name. We literally just on the spot. We're just like, "Fuck it, yolo." Here we are. Yeah, I need to rant about these bitches. TV, TBH, TV, TV completely H. Yeah. So I went to a really posh mm-hmm. white people secondary school, and <sighs> okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Man. Basically, I came out. Do you know how TikTok has like opened a whole new door for LGBTQ people? Mm-hmm. I came out as bisexual in year seven, so I was ten. Oh, okay. Eleven, ten. Ninety percent of people started ignoring me after that. Damn. Which is like fine. I didn't care. <laughs> didn't really have many friends in the first place. <laughs> but after that, this whole TikTok thing, half the people that were doing that are now bisexual. Huh. That's, Does that's that make cool. sense? I mean. It's kind of confusing, but... Yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Wow. To put a little emphasis on the school, there's there's one girl, and I'm not going to say her name, just in case, because <laughs> I will be crucified if I do. Holy shit. But um, we were friends for five years? She's my best friend. Well, she was my best friend for like five years. I had a boyfriend in year seven, oh, year eight. Shit. Okay. We broke up because I had a crush on somebody else. My hey, bad. Oh, my bad. Hey, yo, damn. My bad, man. Oh, this girl's on demon time. All right, continue. <laughs> no but it's like it's not it's not like it's not like i just like fucking was like oh yeah i like this guy fuck you i was like hey can we have a conversation about this and he was like yeah sure and we were like 12 no one cares (laughs) no one cares um so that happened and then i was quite upset about it because we did date for quite a while i'm still friends with this guy to this day yeah he's my he's my bae i wouldn't call him my bae Maybe not. Maybe okay. not do that. Yeah. Interesting. All right. <laughs> and then the next day, this bitch starts dating him. I mean, damn, that's pretty fucked. A little bit. Um. Then she, we're still friends, obviously. She is horrible to this boy. She's horrible to him, and she's. I don't know. I'll tell you what kind of person she is. She's the kind of person... Do you know who Lana Del Rey is? Of course. Of course. What are your opinions on Lana Del Rey? Wait, hold on. Just establish. We're talking about the... And, and the singer, right? Yeah, huh? All right, baby. I was just, just wondering. All right. I mean... I mean, some of the music is... is, is it's I. It's just, that's about it. It's not, it's not like I'm like a super fan or anything. I just... I just you don't know what she's like as a person? No. I'm going to be honest with you. She's horrible. Know. She's horrible. I, I just saw a couple of songs on YouTube, and that's about it. She's she's not. I, mean, I don't really go in depth on people's like, you know, personality traits and shit. But okay, damn. I uh, won't go like in depth on Lana Del Rey. I might start like a like a fight in your YouTube comments. <laughs> Get like targeted by Lana stands. That's scary. Yeah, you can see you can see my YouTube comments be flooded by like, yeah, her fan base. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. All of a sudden, I'm getting hate. <laughs> Lana fans be like, Lana Del Rey is not a bad person. Lana Del Rey is God. I don't know. Don't don't come for. What's your name? Oh, Shake. Shake. Mm-hmm. Like you know, as a milkshake without the milk. But anyways, stick one. Don't come for Shake because I'm the one that said it. Exactly. And don't come for me. Exactly. You heard her. I can't handle hate, mate. So just don't come for me. I just don't think Lana Del Rey is a good lass. <laughs> but yeah, so um. So, as you mentioned, so, like, um, how would you say is your current dating life right now? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh here we go. Here we, here we go. Bing bong. Um, 
Nah, yo, you, you're not from New York City. You can't be saying that. Why not? It's so I'm fun. I'm New York City. You can't be saying that. <laughs> I have nah. family in New York. Can I say it? All right, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, um, I, I don't like people anymore because they piss me off too much. I told you, I have a little habit of every time somebody inconveniences me, I just fucking hate them immediately. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't put up with people's shit. Um, somebody had a crush on me and I was like, nah mate, soz. And then he... <laughs> We're not gonna just move past that. You just said nah mate, soz. Yo. Is, is, nah, is, 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 is that some kind of like British slang, like n- nah, bruv, nah, nah saws, bruv, man. <laughs> bruv, saws, man, shut up, man. Like, I was what? like, sorry, but I, I was like, um, I'll, I guess I'll try and give you a chance. Can you like give me some time to think over it? Um, at this point, I liked somebody else. Yeah, this girl's a straight savage out here. I'm not a savage. I just, I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. But... This guy irritates me so much. I liked somebody else. And I was like, I can give you a chance, but I still like this person, but I'm, so I'm not sure if anything's going to happen. And he was like, okay. I called him three days later. I was like, hey, man, so was, there's so many reasons why I can't date you. And this guy starts crying oh, 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 so yeah. hard. And I'm like, you, you are so mean. I'm I don't mean. care. I don't hey, care. Hey, damn. That's tough out here. If you guys listening? It's tough out here, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I cared when it happened. <laughs> I cared when it happened, but keep listening. This is why I don't care. He started crying. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm really sorry. And he was like, you led me on. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you do this to me? How am I going to live? How am I going to live? Yo, I'm just saying, yo. If this man committed some, like, Hannah Baker type shit, oh, man, then you would have got cancelled so fast. No, I wouldn't have, because a guy had a crush on me. This guy never came to talk on me. He never came to talk to me. He had a crush on me for, like, four months. He never... He didn't come to talk to me once. Yo, what if he was, like, afraid, you know? Like, he was just like, nah. Yeah, fair enough, but still, he doesn't know who... He doesn't know me as a person, because he didn't come and talk to me. That's true. That's true. It's like, I, I get that he might have been shy, you know, but he didn't come and talk to me, which is something to consider. And he was, like, crying, and I was like, you don't fucking no shit about me but you know if you got rejected and you cried that's fair enough fine the next day he texts my best friend he's like how's Daphne is Daphne okay how's Daphne Daphne can you ask Daphne if we can still be friends I said countless times where we can still be friends he was like I'm so scared of losing you I was like all right fine we can still be friends um we weren't friends in the first place by the way because he didn't talk to me you know (laughs) idiot Anyway, I was like, yeah, we can we can be friends, of course we can be friends. He continues to text my friend ten times a day. She's not replying. She doesn't know this boy. She doesn't know him. Wow. So, so in a little bit of weird, scary behavior. Yeah, that's um, some crazy. Not, okay. Yeah, pretty. Not too good. bad, not too bad. Yeah. Two weeks later, this oh. guy's this guy's got a bit of a problem with substances oh damn so every time he gets in trouble he calls me and i'm like yeah you should do this you should do this uh you should move to a safe place and you should drink some water and you should be okay he's not like in a dangerous position or anything but he called me every time he got in trouble and i picked up and i helped him you know you know guys this is just a little bit off topic people listening at home um if you guys listen to my other episodes, it's 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 been pretty crazy, but I feel like this is probably one of those like few like raw unfiltered podcasts where you guys like listen to like real shit that be happening. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow, I didn't expect the stranger to be like, damn, this this okay, wow. That's 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 crazy. So <laughs> carry on. <laughs> yeah, but he did that and like of course I feel bad for him because like I rejected him. And it must hurt, it must suck. So, Lee, all right, so since we're in the new year now, um, tell mm-hmm. me, what are some of your goals that you want to accomplish by the end of this year? Um, I've got, like, a wee little list, Okay. if you want to hear it. Oh, yeah, of course. We'll let everyone know. Uh, the entire world is watching. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, guys. Hi, the entire world. 
that's not that's not pressurizing at all. No, no, like, it's okay. No, it's okay. I like I, you know, there's only like two followers. It's it's, it's all good. Alright. Um. Yeah, it has to be fair. It has been a year since you last made the video. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Yeah. yeah. Um. No. Um. I I need to try and fucking clean my fucking room. Holy shit. That's number one. But I feel like that's a thing for everyone. Okay. You know? Um, New Year's resolution. I have to try and be nicer to people. A what? Nicer to people. I have to be nicer to people. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting resolution. Well, nice do I, okay. I... I'm not mean to people, per se. Mm, okay, <laughs> sure, sure. Continue. Next. Don't <laughs> <laughs> be horrible. I'm not mean to people. I'm just a bit blunt. Mean. Okay, next one. <laughs> you... You vile little smelly bastard. Right. Hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you <laughs> talking about? She, yo, it's just talking about not me, and she's like insulting the host. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm not mean, I promise. Shut up, man. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really nice, new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. Really nice. Um. Oh, shit. What's up? I fucking, I really want to paint my room pink. Pink, okay. That's an interesting color. I know, right? Nobody ever sees it coming. But I really want to paint my room pink. That's my fucking New Year's resolution. Oh, cool. I'm so boring. I'm no, so no, no. It's, 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 it's your list. It's your goal. So I respect that. Dude. Okay. I don't have anything else. That's really this? bad, isn't it? How about this? Let me ask you this. What's something crazy that you want to try that's out of your comfort zone this year? Oh, shit. Um... I want to get another piercing on my mouth, which would be scary. Your mouth, bro. Oh, damn. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like mouth piercings are like kind of like, ugh. I don't know. It's just, it just. I feel like it's, it's is that painful. Bad. No, it's not like painful. It's painful. Yeah. It hurts. Damn. <laughs> it's crazy. It hurts. I'm gonna get another lip piercing. What's the, what else is out of my comfort zone? I need to keep my room clean, man. Okay. <laughs> How about this? What would you say is your biggest fear? Spiders. Really, yo, same here. Oh, What's and up? ketchup. Yeah, well, I right, explain. What do you mean ketchup? Well, why? I have an irrational fear of ketchup. Explain why. I don't know. Holy <laughs> shit! I've been to a hospital and they don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> I'm sorry, yo. Can you imagine you go to a hospital yeah. like, oh, yo, um, so like, what happened to you? Oh, you know, this girl just ate some ketchup. Um, <laughs> Fucking, did I eat it? Fucking no, I didn't eat it. Wait, wait, no. so like, wait, wait, so, so, tell me, like, you don't even eat ketchup, so like, what, if you just stare at ketchup, you pass out? I can't be in the same room, is it? Oh my god, no, 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 stop, stop, this is a joke, this is a joke. It's not. This is a joke, tell me. It's not. I'm being completely serious right now. Wait, wait, tell me, so you're saying that you can't be in the same room as a ketchup bottle? If it's open... <laughs> Don't laugh at me! It's a bit scary. It's scary. Oh God, if you guys are laughing at home, you guys can understand why. Like, what the hell? It sounds. I don't care. I think it's funny. Like, yo, you know what, guys? That's probably going to be the like the official title of the video. Girls afraid of ketchup. ketchup. Girls probably going to be afraid of ketchup. That's crazy. No, it's not, mate. Ketchup's a nasty. Yo, it smells. Ketchup is a meat. Ketchup with mayo and like with sandwiches. What you talking about? Shit is fire. Nah, nah, nah. You, you know, nah, nah. You, you know what it is? It's probably because you're probably afraid of blood. No, I have not got a problem with it. Really? I've got a problem with gore, but I've got nothing wrong with blood. So then, why are you afraid of like a bottle that's red? That's why? I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Like somebody will like get like a ketchup packet, and I'll just be like, even ketchup. It's yeah, not know. good. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, it is funny. It is kind of funny. But... Do you know how you cure a fucking no, a, a fucking fit? No, I'm not talking about curing your ketchup because it just sounds ridiculous. But I mean, have you ever checked search up on Google? Maybe see see what they say. Should, should, we, should we do that now? All right, search up on Google. Search Why on Google. am I scared of ketchup? Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most ridiculous funny, thing I heard. That's crazy. Why am I scared of ketchup? 
Is there anyone else that's also afraid of ketchup? This, you know, actually, guys, comment down below if anyone else is afraid of ketchup. <laughs> There's a name for it. It says motusacusophobia. Motusacusophobia. Oh, what the heck? Wait, I'm gonna type this. What the fuck does this say? A real thing. Yeah, motusacophobia. What the fuck? Sorry, I can't read. Um, motu. Damn. So I don't. I didn't know this. This had a name. I didn't know this. I never even heard about this until you told me you were afraid. <laughs> That's what it's called. Mortusicophobia. Oh, what the hell? I've never. The heard next of time somebody before. tries to phobia shame or mock you, I feel like, <laughs> throw I, that little fact in their greasy ketchup loving faces. I feel like at this point people are just making up words, yo. <laughs> Mortusicophobia. Oh, yeah, I feel like that too. What the hell? Why do I have a fear of ketchup? Okay. This is crazy. Like, I'll, I'm just shocked. Just, just as much as you guys are. People are listening, man. I'm pretty sure you guys probably fell out your chair. Probably listened to this conversation. Fucking, there's no reason other than blood. But I don't, I don't care. I don't yeah, care that's about. That's what I'm blood. saying. Like, because the, the most like logical reasoning would be you would be afraid of blood. <laughs> but yeah, it's not. I, d- what the I don't like the smell. That might be it. Huh. Interesting. Who the fuck was like? Oh yeah. Who- and what, who was like, oh yeah, you know what, I got a tomato, and I've got some fucking vinegar. Uh, hold on, tell me, tell me, hold on. So then, since, since you're afraid of ketchup, what about tomatoes? Tomatoes too, you're afraid of? I'm not afraid of them, I just don't like them. <laughs> you're missing out, you're missing out. Tomatoes are fire. I have, I'm a really picky eater, so. Yeah, I can see. But, um. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, mate, ketchup is scary, end of. So hold on, so, so let me get this straight. So you're telling me. That right now, if I were to p- pull up a ketchup on the screen, you're, you're gonna pass out. No, because I can't smell it. But like, would you be afraid? I'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> be like, "You're right, mate." This is hilarious. This is so funny. <laughs> no, it's not that. Fu- it's not like no, it's not that funny. It's like a little bit it's funny. It's pretty funny. It's a little bit funny, just a little bit. God, man, this is hilarious. Wow, I'm, I'm, you're literally the first person, I think, in the entire world that I've ever heard about this. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know where the fuck it came from. Literally, I was like, mm, yeah, you know what I should do? I should fucking hate ketchup with my whole soul. Well, so before we close out this video, because I feel like the audience kind of got to know a very interesting perspective of you, even though for, even though, well, well, first I want to say thank you so much for joining because I know you kind of just said yes impromptu on the spot as a stranger and I, I really appreciate it. But um, for, for the people watching at home, what's one life advice you would give them? Shit. Even if people don't like the way you look, it shouldn't matter because they are weird if they fucking treat you different for the way you look you're not the weird one and all what you said was like some some real shit but yeah thank you thank you well yeah um thank you guys so much for listening that was episode number 10 and then when you guys see this hopefully i i got some other guests lined up and episode 11 should be on the way so until next time i'll see you guys later